And this is not just uh, an academic or philosophical exercise. The need for relief here is, is real. The restitution in the criminal proceeding was about $4,000, uh, and the horse is going to need uh, care for the rest of his life. He has a, a lifespan, uh, he's eight years old, could live another 25, 30 years. And so uh, there's a long um, road to recovery for him, and that's going to cost money. And the person who inflicted the injury that's going to uh, require that veterinary treatment is the person who ought to pay that. Uh, and that's really the purpose behind allowing civil courts for victims of crimes, because they shouldn't have to pay, or their supporters shouldn't have to pay uh, when someone has, has treated them cruelly. All of the case law, in fact, goes the other way, and that's case law even from outside of Oregon. No case law in Oregon, not a single case in Oregon, as an appellate opinion, gives you any ability to somehow make Preston out of a case that talks about an animal having right, none. So what I think that the plaintiff's attorneys want you to do is simply just create law. If they want a new law, they're in the wrong city, they need to go down south just about an hour to Salem in front of the legislative body, and they need to have some legislative body enact a statute.